Megan screams as wounded veteran admits that they didn't get money from 2022 Invictus Games. If Harry owes, Megan must pay. Megan's heart pounded as she looked at the wounded veterans on the screen, their faces filled with pain and disappointment. What should have been a celebratory moment for the Invictus Games has turned into a nightmare. These once proud athletes revealed that they haven't received the payment they were promised for participating in the 2022 event. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The documentary executive produced by Prince Harry aims to shine a light on the resilience and triumph of wounded service members. As veterans spoke out, however, it became clear that the show had taken a very different turn, focusing on Harry and Meghan, not their brave opponents. We put our heart and soul into those games because we thought it would help provide for our families and aid in the recovery process, said Jake, an army veteran who lost both legs in Afghanistan. Hours. But instead of that money going to us, it seems that Harry and Meghan used it to make themselves look better. Accusations quickly swirled that the royal family had diverted money from Invictus Games' budget to fund their own project. Many athletes feel kidnapped, claiming that they've been used as props to enhance Harry and Meghan's public image. This was never about them, it was about us, the wounded warriors who were promised help and support, said Sarah, a former marine who suffered a traumatic brain injury. But somehow it was all twisted to make it look like Harry and Meghan's performance. Critics were quick to criticise, accusing the pair of exploiting vulnerable veterans for personal gain. Some have even called for Prince Harry to be removed as patron of the Invictus Games, claiming that he's failed to understand the true purpose of the event. Harry claims to be a champion for the cause of veterans, but his actions tell a very different story, said military analyst Mark Thompson. He turned what should have been a celebration of resilience into a vanity project, and that is truly a disgrace. In the wake of the scandal, many of the athletes who participated in the documentary felt kidnapped and ignored. Despite executive producer Harry's credit, many veterans reported that their stories and struggles were pushed aside in favour of the royal couple's story. We went all in on those interviews because we thought it would help raise awareness and support for our community, said Ahmed, a former army medic. But when I saw the final product, I almost didn't recognise myself. It was all about Harry and Meghan and not us. The source of funding for the documentary remains unclear, fueling suspicions that Invictus Games' budget was misused. Some athletes even felt that the production siphoned resources away from important programmes and services for injured veterans. We were promised that the Games would help us with rehabilitation, mental health support and job training, said Foda, a former Navy SEAL, but instead it seems like the money was diverted to making a documentary that doesn't even properly represent our story. As the scandal continued to unfold, Invictus Games came under a lot of criticism. Many believe Harry's involvement tainted the event and that his lack of transparency and commitment to the athletes irreparably damaged its reputation. The Invictus Games should have been about us, the wounded warriors who refused to identify our injuries, Jake said. But now it's all about Harry and his fame and that's not what we signed up for. The fallout from the documentary has left many veterans disillusioned and discouraged, questioning whether Invictus Games can truly fulfil its mission of supporting injured service members. As the dispute continues to rage, the future of the event and its relationship with Prince Harry remains uncertain. We put our trust in Harry in the Invictus Games, but they let us down. Meg said, her voice shaking with emotion. Now we have to pick up the pieces and figure out how to move forward without the support we were promised. It's a heartbreak that no one deserves to endure.